Hello, my name is Gana Filipenko and I'm a professional Latin dancer and more than anything I love to share my knowledge what I gained during all my long dance career and today I would like to talk to you about Pase Doble and about uh, that term which everybody is using by saying that you have to walk from the hill so let's understand that exactly what they mean so a little story about Pase Doble as a dance. I'm sure that you all heard that and you all know, however, some of you might not. So before Pase Doble became to be a Latin dance, collected in all this five what we have in our Latin program, it was in ballroom. So that's why we have so many similarities and very much related to a ballroom mechanics movement and also that's why it explains actually a lot why we have a six position in our feet and also why people say that we're walking and we do actually walk from the hill so as you all also know that the Paso Doble body position is a way different from all other four dances in our Latin program. So let's talk a little bit deeper about that and from there we will understand and we will figure it out why we do walk from the hill. So in Paso Doble, as you know, our pelvis, I'm calling it a butterfly or elef elephant ears. So all of this, my pelvis, it literally should feel like you're opening it opening it now with that one we will shorten our body our torso we will not go back that is a big mistake people bringing the hips forward by moving yourself leaving yourself back and it's very much big and very bad pressure to our low spine so in that case you just need to literally um, press yourself down and in this case you will clearly feel very much a participation of the middle of the foot you literally going through the floor way more down and that's why we do walk from the hill but let me be about that very specific we actually do not walk exactly from the hill because a lot of times I was meeting a student who literally took that saying as a truth and they were trying to walk from the hill. However, as you all know, the female shoes are very high skinny heels and to slip on those, it takes a second. So now, to avoid that and to be very precise with what exactly do we do during we walking from the hills we actually slide our foot we slide our foot along the floor and only at the end we are getting we are freeing up our ball of the foot and stepping from the hill and then from there on we're going as in ballroom that cushion transportation from the hill to the ball from the hill to the ball so let's conclude so why do we walk from the hill because in all our other four dances our body weight is absolutely clearly on the ball of the feet and the heels are kissing the floor we do walk we do transport and we feel the whole foot However, right after we are transporting ourselves to the ball. But in Paso, our body weight as an end of a body weight transportation should appear on a middle, on a strong, very grounded, and very much connected middle of the feet. So now, as I mentioned previously, we are trying to open our pelvis our elephant ears or butterfly so that much that much we are rotating however with that one we do not tie our glutes please this is a big mistake you're right away gonna tight yourself and gonna limit yourself in 
incredibly high amount. Now the glutes are quite free. They are strong, they are toned, are beautiful, but not tight. We are just rolling inside that pelvis. With that feeling, we will feel right away all along our inner thighs. And with that one, we will march our passo. I want to pay your attention. We do not walk in passo. We are marching because the passo doble as a dance came from Spain. However, the music came to us from France, from a French march. So we always should be marching instead of walking. So guys, when we march in in paso, we actually never do that flat and let's go, right? We are creating the shape of a story, meaning not the exact shape of a body, but we are creating the story of it right away. And as you know, the story of the paso comes from Spain as a matador, terrador, with a bullfight. So with that one, we will always have a slight separation of our upper body looking straight at you and my lower body is looking exactly where I'm gonna go. It's also a lot to do with both, right? When they go to the promenade, the feet are direct, the head is direct, but the shoulders stays towards each other. Now with that one, keeping in mind that we will march from the right, and again, we feel the middle of the floor, oh, sorry, the middle of the foot, and, and now we walk. Now from here, I'm gonna brush the leg and create another march walk. And, and I'm marching to the forward step and a little bit across. So guys, I hope I gave you a little bit of an interesting point in Paso. Of course, it's a lot more, but we need to start from something. So if you like that video, please subscribe, share, press the button of a like, and see you next time.